Hi everybody, today's bird is F and it is for the 6th of December and we are doing the field fair. Um, I'm just going to put field fair right up here right now so that I don't forget to put field fair and I'm going to do it in a, oh maybe I'll do it in, in the red that I don't have sitting here. Oh I do have the red. It's like where's my red? So as I am not currently doing lives, I thought I would at least do a pre-recording. And I did just do a pre-recording for the Eagle. So, but it uh, didn't record. So let's see if this happens. If not, you're gonna probably just get a posting of my work, which is fine as well. I need to keep up with birds in December, seeing as I um, did create this birds in December. So I'm going to do this one in Posca pens because I did do the other one, but you didn't see it. So I thought I'll do this one in Posca pens as well. Um, let's start with getting the birds sketched out. And I'm actually going to look at all the colors that are there, uh, where they are. So, for example, the back, I'm just going to add this uh, brown to. I know that there's darker colors over the top. I'm looking at um, the direction of and angles of the things that I'm, like the back that I was drawing and then comes up where the head is and around and then I can go back to the brown for the beak. You can see this line is very, it's like almost like an arc so kind of continues from the back there and the eye is over here. I'm going to leave that there and then I need the cream Come down and around. <clears throat> and I've made this way too dippy, but that's okay because I can correct that. It's better to have it almost smaller than larger. because then you can add to it. So I know that his this area is white. I'm going to put it cream and then I'm going to add the white because I do want a little bit of texture. And this whole area is pretty much this peachy color so I can use this this Posca. Just going to get a little bit more of um, the paint out. So I can move it around a little better. You want to make sure you're working on a surface that is not going to, um, you're not worried about it getting dirty. I can pull this right down here because I need that color underneath the darker colors and then I'm going to use the white. Sometimes it's easy for the for the paint to come out and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it doesn't come out as easily. Just fill that area in and then I'm going to use, I'm going to use a black and then I probably can go over with, um, with the brown just to get the tails in. Mm. 
under here. And a little bit there. And then I can come back and add the little eye as well. And the beak, which I can also go over with brown if I really want to. Then there's a lot of details, um, but I need to add brown to this area here. And then I can go over with the with the black. And while the bird is drying, before I put all the details on, I think I'm gonna put a background. And I didn't set a timer for this one. I had set a timer for the other one, but I'm trying to keep them down to 10, 15 minutes each. I think it's a good amount of time that you're not overworking an image. I know in the mornings I do a lot longer, but we also do some exercises too, so. And if you want to do exercises, um, with the birds that you're drawing, that's fine. We'll be doing lots more of that in the new year. All right, and the feet or the legs, one comes here and one is over here and it's sitting perched. I'm actually going to do it perched on a tree branch instead of this block of wood that it's sitting on so only because I want the pattern to be seen behind this branch I always thought this brown was a little bit darker but it's not Oh, and I have gold and I have silver, so maybe I will use those for the background. So while the bird is drying, I am going to think about a pattern that I can use. we want it to look like it's tucked behind the bird as well so think about that when you're putting your pattern on it doesn't necessarily have to be symmetrical to you know all the elements around it but it's nice when you can make it look like it actually is behind all the elements Like these little leaves, I will just try and look at the size and see where they sit amongst this little area. You don't have to overcomplicate patterns either. If you know me and my patterns, I, I do like overlapping or overlaying, but even something simple like this, and I think I may just leave it nice and simple like this, is really, um, I like it. It's like refreshing. It's not overworked. Put one down here, one over here, see like I said, oh actually I probably said it in the last video that didn't record, while you're waiting for an element to dry on your page, try moving around and seeing what else you can do. And that's why I love doing patterns because while I'm waiting for the bird to dry, I can be still drawing on my page. And the pattern is the perfect element. 
I actually started drawing patterns because I was feeling when I was doing all the portraits that I was doing, I was feeling that um, they didn't have a purpose or they didn't, they weren't completed complete because they didn't have anything in the background. And I mean, now we're putting everything in the background. So it's uh, quite special how things just keep evolving. All right, I have to put some uh, little elements on, or elements on this bird. So what I'm gonna do is probably look, at, I'm gonna try not to smudge the pattern. So I'm gonna start here where, his, oh, this is the silver. I don't want the silver, I want the black. Start here where his little wing is. Just come up a little bit. And then there are some smaller feathers here. And then longer ones here. Put, put that there. And then some smaller ones here. Some markings. Some markings down here. And some on his chest or his neck. So it's not always important to, oh, I should probably correct that. It's not always important to, um, to make, for example, this area here like a lot more yellow, like I think it's nice, um, it's quite nice as it is and if it's not exactly like the picture, I think that's okay as well. this leg and chlorine make it a little bit darker here and here Okay, I will be going over the branch here. Just gonna blend in a little bit of the gray with the black. And just give it a little bit more texture. I know Posca pens are probably supposed to use a, be used a little bit flatter, but um, I try to make them work for me as well and not worry about how in particular they should be used, but more how I want to use them. Okay, so I'm gonna darken just under here. I think I've been probably longer. I should have set my timer. I'm gonna set my timer for the next one that I do. Just get some gray in here. Mm. 
and pull his leg slightly up. And the white, I need to just clean up this bit here and here. A little shine on his eye and maybe a couple of highlights here and down here. The white Pascar is like the juiciest of my of all of mine. I want more control of it. I guess that's just how how it is. All right, I think he could be done. I'm just going to take Oh, that's really really runny as well. I'm going to take a brush and just use that here over on his on his claw see how quickly that came out I know there's different um, widths of Puskas as well so I could have got the smaller nib but I know that I really wanted to fill in okay I am going to take um a little bit of the brown underneath here actually i need to go a little bit darker maybe i'll take a tiny little bit of the blue as well and then mix those and clean up his little feet bring a little bit of yellow in a little bit under here as well it should be really a sandy a sandy color but I'll just take a little bit of um, this hue and add it to the bird I think this I went wrong a little bit here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the white and just highlight down here a little bit and then it will distract your eye or it should distract your eye Just to blend, I'm using the paint brush to actually blend it on the page. I wonder if I can drag it a little bit over here. Oh yes I can. So I guess until the Posca is dry, it's actually quite great and to be able to move it around on here let's try down here I'm not sure if they are it should be permanent but it does lift maybe they're not permanent Okay, and a I'm going to just take some paint and just use it here. All right, I think he is done. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Until the next bird.